The city of Oakland has started a final round of evictions at their Wood Street encampment. The city started the process of clearing the camp more than a year ago. And Cron 4's Amanda Harry is in the studio with the latest. Amanda? The city of Oakland estimates there are still about 70 individuals living in the Wood Street encampment. Some of those people have lived there for years. The city is promising to help all of those people relocate. The encampment beneath MacArthur Mays Highway interchange on Wood Street is in the process of being shut down by the city of Oakland. It once housed hundreds of people, but has become a concern for the city due to health and safety conditions and fires, including one in April of last year that killed one person and displaced five others. A substantial amount of planning has gone into the closure of this encampment. Acting Homelessness Administrator Latonda Simmons says they hope shutting down the encampment will accomplish two goals. The first would be to transition the unhoused into available shelter and to convey the property over to developers for the development of 170 permanently affordable housing units. The construction on the Wood Street Cabin program can't start until the site is closed and secured. The city is also offering a safe RV park site on 66th Avenue. Outreach Services has been talking with residents for agreed to relocate to the cabin shelter program and they're working with others. They are at liberty to take other shelter resources or to self relocate to the extent that they're able to do so. And we will provide some limited support to be able to do that. The city says there are enough shelter spaces for everyone who wants one, but some advocates for the encampment are unhappy, protesting the closing. You can hear them chanting as Simmons tried to speak to the media. Darius Brewer used to live in the encampment. He's sad to see his friends being evicted. Not fair. It's not fair. Maven Carter Griffin says the city has told her and others living in the camp that they would help them find safer housing, but it hasn't happened for her yet. There were promises made and we've been disrespected and that's very hurtful. I've lost teeth, I've been beaten, I've been set on fire. The entire eviction process is expected to take two weeks. Then construction will begin on the Wood Street Cabin program. Back to you.